Hi, so here's how you can change the SmartBro Pocket Wi-Fi username and password. But before we go on, let me just show how my device looks like. It looks pretty much like this. Now there are other SmartBro Pocket Wi-Fi versions, like this one here. The flare is not uh, the same. There's even an LTE now from SmartBro here. And there are other versions that are also available. Mine is one of the older 4G versions, but I'm still able to use it properly to this day. And it's, it's a pretty much a reliable connection. Now going back to changing the username and password for your your connection we enter the default gateway for smartbro 192.168.1.1 on the search field of any browser and it will ask you to log in the password is simply smartbro so we're here but before we go to the main point, just a few things, some features you might be interested to know. On the Smart Bro interface, you'll be able to see which devices are connected to your pocket Wi Fi here. And you can also connect or disconnect and even see the, uh, the data exchanges, download and upload. And there are other details here, but uh, it's not recommended to be changing anything as it might affect your connection. So I might as well see this. Of course, this is where you can send, receive text messages. You can use this uh, like any other regular smart SIM and even save phone numbers. And here are the exchanges to and from SmartPro, like when you're refilling, adding funds to your pocket Wi-Fi, registering, checking your balance, and all that. But going to the main point, it's under settings and Wi-Fi settings. Here it is. Under basic settings. The network name SSID, that's your SmartPro Pocket Wi-Fi username. And this is the password. You can tick this box here so you can see what password you've entered. It's always recommended to choose a more secure combination. One that has small and big letters, numbers, and special characters. Now there are other things you can check here, but um, it's best just to keep them that way, so as not to mess up your connection. So once again, it's under settings, Wi-Fi settings, basic settings, here, and here, and when you're done, click apply. It will restart and you will need to re-log in using the new credentials that you have selected. There you have it. Thanks for watching.